Okay, so visual manipulation, you know, when I started the visual manipulation, nobody did it in, uh, in Europe. I uh, suppose maybe in, in the world, because a lot of people uh, say we, we, we did it, but I'm not so sure. The problem is was to organize, huh? certainly a developer, because uh, it's, it's, uh, that kind of manipulation was not taught. In, uh, I, I went from medicine myself, was not taught. And it was very interesting because uh, now in the normal training of the osteopathic school, it's 25% of the, of, the, of the exam. So I, I'm very satisfied myself. You no, know, I started a certain time because one of my patients, he came to see me for uh, low, low back pain or dorsal pain. And uh, uh, three weeks after, he came to see me and said, you know, I feel very, very good. I was very proud. I said, thank you very much. He said, no, it's not because of you. I saw a bone setter and it did something in my stomach and honestly I had no more pain. At this time I worked in an hospital in Grenoble and I did a lot of dissection. And of course I was a little vexed, you know, when you are uh, young you are vexed for nothing. So I worked in this hospital and I tried in dissection to see a little the connection with the dorsal spine, with the stomach. And I make move a little the stomach on the cadaver and after on uh, people, live people. And, I, and I, I saw that this movement was very, what you call, defined. It was not by chance that an organ is moving, he has some access to respect and so on. And I found many people uh, with um, some lung disease because I was in a, an hospital specialized in lung disease. And you know, the lung, when they got some tension, they are able to give some deformation of the cervical spine to the bone. So a movement not good for an organ, and can have a big effect on the bone itself. So it was something very interesting for me. I started on the, on the line, on the pleural attachment and so on, after on the stomach, and I tried to organize. At this time, I, I met uh, Pierre Mercier, he's a friend of mine, and we worked to uh, see a little what kind of movement an organ is able to do, to do in three dimensions. And I still uh, try myself to discover new, new things. I'm still very uh, anxious to, to know a little more. I'm not satisfied because if, when you are satisfied, it means that you are ready to die. I'm absolutely not ready to die. So we have uh, so many things to do it uh, to do again. So it's enthusiastic, you know. Now in the world, maybe I've uh, given a little contribution to the world for the visual manipulation. Uh, proud of it. I'm proud of it. Proud because I know that there are so many things that we don't know and uh, it's not finished. And proud because I can help you to have uh, some better results. And through you, it's a patient. I never forget myself that if we have results, it's not for ego, it's for the patient to feel better. And I'm a real therapist, I'm not only a teacher. I know what is to fail, I know what is to be successful. I see, I used to see a lot of patients. And when I give a course myself, it's a real course. It's not something uh, I invent just to please to the students. It's what I do in my office, and I'm very busy in my office. Thank you for listening to me.